When you pawn your wet ring and your head is up your ass, now you're listening to the Book Even Podcast. Johnny Gasper. Dale Schmitz. You saw your Michigan Wolverines pummel mm. Penn State. What a weekend it was for you. A perfect weekend for me. And uh, and guess what else happened this Sunday? Uh, my upset pick, your Pittsburgh Steelers, took down the Buccaneers. My God, am I good at this. I Thank you. T- I texted Daryl around Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. I was like, I'm in, I don't know if I mentioned it on the pod. I was like, I'm going to put $1,000 <laughs> on the Bucks and maybe do $1,000 Bucks Rams parlay. And Daryl was like, do not do that. Correct. Don't do that. Yep. That's, you never know. And thank God I texted you. Uh huh. Because never in a million years could I picture the team that lost to the Bills, like thirty-eight three. Yep. Beat the Bucks. Yep. I don't think the Bucks are that good. So <sighs> felt good. John, explain. Okay, but we'll we'll get to that. But let's let's get to the. Uh, give me give us give us the feeling in Ann Arbor this weekend. Uh, John and his wife Spencer went to the game. Michigan Penn State. Uh, and Michigan, uh, after going up fourteen nothing very early, uh, lost it in an instant, but then ended up rolling. So it, it a was, wave of emotions there. It was a beautiful. It's kind of fun to have both, right? Like I like yep. that you mentioned that because y- you know you obviously just want to blow anyone out when you go to see a game live. It was a maze out. It was one hundred and ten thousand people in yellow. It was just beautiful. That was just from the Ugh. from the TV watching standpoint it could not have looked more stunning and it was buddy. also weather like October yeah, that's what fall I mean. like it was like 40 high 40s low 50s a hoodie <sighs> I mean it was just the best and the, yeah football wise they go up 13 nothing Spencer leaves to get a pretzel Penn State scores <laughs> 14 in three minutes it was like touchdown pick six she comes back Michigan never trails again I'm like you're never leaving yeah she just has to sit there and you go get the snacks from now on I'll get the snacks you'll always get the snacks yeah I'm that's so now Michigan now is uh is is on another collision course uh to play Ohio State at the end of the year for um a very, very good chance at a playoff berth. Yeah, it's crazy. And then there's the there's win or lose. The, the, exactly. There's the reality that if we if we win out and lose that game close, correct. That depending on whatever else happens, they may get in. Um, so that's just very exciting. And it's Alabama. Alabama lost. going down was was huge. That's big. That's big. Congratulations for to the Tennessee Volunteers. Tennessee. That is uh, the sight of the of the year so far. Clearly, that game looked fireworks. Just everything. Orange fireworks as it, it happens. Was just. That field, that stadium, that crowd could not have been better, right? Like that is, that's what college football is all about. That's what it is. It's just beautiful. This was a weekend where you're reminded, like you know, the transfer portal, all these things we don't like about the sport yep. now. It's like they, they wash away, and there was, I mean, so we had the Alabama Tennessee game. I would say the game of the year. Yes. And then don't forget TCU Oklahoma State. Oklahoma so State's good. up 14. TCU comes back I, overtime, wins in overtime. It's insane. And obviously, I had Oklahoma State, but uh, I watched the I watched Ugh. the Tennessee game in a Tennessee bar here in Chicago, and it was electric, my friend. Uh, this Daryl's the smartest a, man in the world. Just an Let electric atmosphere that was. Daryl goes to a t- Tennessee bar, bets Tennessee money line. Yes, I did. For the vibe. Yep. I mean, he's a, he's well, chasing I can't go in there. vibes. I can't go in there ch- cheering against Tennessee. Like <sighs> this is this is what I wanted. I had friends that went to Tennessee. We I met them there, and boy, did we have a great time. My just, part. My parlay that was busted, as I told you, um, I had Tennessee plus 17 in this parlay. Beautiful. Just tease him up, which we had decent odds. And um, a million other things all hit, except I had Penn State plus 17. And how I'm stupid thinking, is that, folks? Because I'm thinking, oh, Michigan wins. I really do think they'll, you know, they'll win. But you know, they'll win by like 14. Maybe, you know, maybe they'll win by 17 push. And then they just clapped them. It's uh, – my least favorite trait about John, everybody, he bets against his Bet team against my all team. the time, yep. and it doesn't win that often, yep. and it is infuriating. I, but ever, I'm telling you what, though, I, I, as someone who is <laughs> – I feel like when the teams I bet on lose, I'm like, I'm going <laughs> to – you know. I don't like it, John. You know, I'm just Cheer gonna, on your team yeah. and just don't bet against them. It's a, it's, it's, a wise, it's wise advice. You don't have to bet on them. Just it's don't ba- bet against them. Bad I juju. Hate it. It's terrible. It's bad like, vibes. Like, you deserve to not feel the full joy that you should have felt. Yes. Because you were a little disappointed that they won by, by yeah, know, a what, twin, 20? Yeah, a twinge in me was like, <sighs> Yeah, of course. You you're, you were cheering on Penn State at the end of that game 
It was like, we, always, we were up 24, and I'm thinking, how yep. about we let him, let him get a garbage That's can? That's exactly. Garbage you wanted a backdoor cover, I wanted a backdoor cover at that game. That is unforgivable, folks. It was. It is unforgivable. Uh, but obviously, the playoff atmosphere, the scenarios have completely changed uh, since Tennessee won. Alabama now has the their one loss. Um, and in the, general, they look... They don't um, look great. They look mortal. And they're Truly. De- they're defense. In multiple weeks now. Like, this isn't... Yeah. They, they absolutely are not... I, I would... Obviously, if they win out, of course, they're going to get in. But I I don't know. They're not scary. Which they're not is scary. strange. And all of a sudden, like, the SEC is just more... You know, Ole Miss is undefeated. Yep. They're in the West, and they... Imagine you know, an Ole Miss-Tennessee SEC championship. I mean, Daryl, <laughs> it's... It's possible. I know it is. They play so Ole Miss has an interesting game. They go to Baton Rouge. Yep. Um, and then they go to Texas A and M, which is not as scary as it used to be. And then they have Alabama on November twelfth. So if yep. they win the next two games, it's going to be uh, it's going to be the SEC West title. Again. Yep. It's yes. going to be the SEC West title game, if you will. Yep. And of course, they still have to play Arkansas, Mississippi State, and you know Mississippi State can beat anyone. Of course. But you know, there's that. And then on the East, all of a sudden, Georgia. They have to play Tennessee. Play Tennessee, and Tennessee was without two starters in the secondary, and they just beat Bama. Tennessee, Georgia, that is in Georgia, correct? That is in Georgia on November fifth. So they have to get by UT Martin. Yep. Um, which will, the spread will be fascinating for that. And That'll then they play Kentucky, million. which again, Kentucky could, their quarter, be, good, it could yeah. be good. It could be a game. It's a rivalry. Um, but then if they get by those two, we're looking at Georgia, Tennessee, which might be like a one three battle. Yeah, but yeah. Maybe even, yeah. Top one or two. It could just be one two. Which and is here's here's which a scenario. is a great scenario for Tennessee because if they lose that game, they could still get in. Here's yeah, I was, I was gonna say. So you're you're the playoff committee. You have and you have this Tennessee team. Let's say they go eleven and one. They don't make the SEC title because right. they lose to Georgia, yep. who wins out. And you have a win against Bama, win against LSU, win against Florida, Florida. win against Pitt on the road, yep. uh, Kentucky, and some some scrubs. That is going to be Pretty a team good. that's going to be really uh, hard. But then against a one loss Michigan, who lost Ohio State, Tennessee is getting in. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's too early, obviously, but yep, I agree. But unless Penn State, that. unless Penn State goes. That to, you know, yeah, that's a way they would out. have to tear to, out. Yeah, went up, and they won't. <laughs> <laughs> um, other other surprising. Uh, so we got Ole Miss, TCU, and Syracuse are all seven or no. That's a that's like a just a, a little t- a tidbit stat out there. Yes, yeah, Syracuse like a, six and zero for the. It's the I think the third. I read the third time since nineteen thirty four. So that's not <laughs> a that's not very common. No, we, we've seen a couple pretty, presidents. Pretty we've seen a couple presidents during that span <laughs> um, lead this country. Syracuse. Speaking of Daryl, they travel to Clemson this weekend. It's gonna be a great battle of two undefeated teams. Um, Syracuse beat Clemson a couple years ago at home and and scared them. On yeah, the road. They, like that missed field goal, like that weird. It's they a had weird a really weird, they've had a couple weird games. With they Clemson. play them close. They've yeah, always I don't know why that is. I wonder why that is. Um, that seems like a, a strange team to that, that battles Clemson. And but, this is yes. a game I'm excited to talk about. I'm fascinated by the Clemson minus thirteen and a half spread. Um, there's so many. There's a couple wacky ones here uh, but let's that we're going to go through. Um, but other other than that, uh, USC fell in overtime to Utah, 43-42. Their defense finally. It, yeah, we've been waiting. That's for so this. many points. Yeah, the, uh, uh, the defense finally caved. It did. Uh, they're still. Um, I believe they're still in the top ten. Um, probably. probably top 15, I think they. they like I think they probably dropped to twelve with the other losses. If they went out, they can still. They can still get there, but uh, the that, that one's tough. Yep. Um, they dropped to twelve. Yeah. Yep. Um, but they're still good. Obviously, their defense—they're just going to give up points. It's, and and staying in the Pac-12, Daryl, we have mm-hmm. your Oregon Ducks mm-hmm. are, UCLA, baby. are getting a nice visit from UCLA. Ten nine matchup. God, I love football. It's if UCLA wins, they are vaulted into the playoff discussion for sure. And whoever wins this game, the, yep, the football in. nerd in me is reminded of the very first BCS year. It was Kansas State. UCLA, Tennessee, Florida State, where the who is going to yep. make the top two, and now we have Tennessee and UCLA. It's just like it's wow. kind of just reminding me of that this. is very Kansas nerdy State of you, by the way. Very nerdy. deep. I mean, it's a that's deep a very cut. deep, <laughs> very. And if very Kansas deep State, cut. because because if Kansas State they got beats a big one too. TCU, yep. they're going top ten. Mm. TCU's eighth. 
Yeah. I think they would be. I think you'd be remiss because their only loss God, is to Tulane, and Tulane is now twenty fifth in the country. I hate Big Twelve football. I just hate it. Um, <sighs> Go Wildcats. Okay, uh, so the two games that we're not going to pick um, that probably could, but the Ole Miss LSU game is fascinating. LSU is favored by one and a half in this one. It's at LSU. I, I saw that today, um, and I was also a fascinating spread. Um, so Ole Miss looked great last week, oh, and they and then LSU also beat really kind of did very good against Florida. Old LSU is a team I wouldn't want to play. Right, Tennessee Maybe that's killed what it them. Is. This is, Vegas knows, but Florida is not a bad team, and it's like you just don't know what you're going to get. That with game LSU. is uh, like if Ole Miss is looking ahead, don't. I mean, after they would, I mean, they're going into LSU, so that you would assume that they yeah. are well aware of what's waiting for them. But I also like. This is one of those where they are maybe looking at the big game down the road where uh, they need to take care of business. Old I Miss, just can't believe it. the one and a half spread is yeah. uh, is very telling. Old what. Miss is prone to bouts of uh, sleepwalking. Yep. So they when they were playing Vandy, they were down yes, in that game I was just for a while. Saying, they do this uh, at just at certain points in the games I've watched. They've had like the lapses where Tulsa. Yep. They were. I we. I mean, everyone. Their mom bet on them. They only won thirty five twenty seven down most of the games. Like they can really fall asleep for quarters at a time, but then yep. they just then all of a sudden it's like fourth quarter starts, just kill because they score so quick. They're good. I, I watched a lot of that game uh, last week. They're fun. Um, other game, Penn State at uh, Minnesota at Penn State. Penn State favored by five. Um, that's so, like a that's a big one in the Big Ten. Big one in the Big Ten. It's a big one for both programs as far as like Penn State last year. Remember when they lost to Iowa on yep. the road? And then they, they were top yes, five. Yep. And then their season just, just went whew. gone. Now Clifford was injured and, and he got injured against I'm Michigan last pretty week. Pretty sure the the James Franklin getting fired talk happened too uh, after that because uh, they just started collapsing. So I, if that happens again, then you you might hear some rumbles again. If they lose to Minnesota, he should be on the hot seat despite his contract. They always say that. But um, yes. But Minnesota, their quarterback is injured. He's going to be a game time decision. Tanner Morgan. So we'll see. I like. It's really, you know history would be you'd almost be silly to bet on Penn State given last year. But I do think they bounce back because they're at home. Correct. And I think the kids. Oh, I like it too. Don't I'm, want the the same thing happening. I put this game on there so that you and I could hammer Penn State because yeah. I'm doing it. I think I'm going to really. I love betting against PJ Fleck. Yeah. I think that, <laughs> and again, an injured quarterback, even if he plays, he's not 100. Correct. And I do think that Penn State is better. better. Be, they're better than they played against Michigan. Yep. I do think they're a better Correct. team than they played against Michigan. So, um, All right, John. We'll get into some picks here. So last week, we both went 4-1. and one. God damn, were we good. Uh, Let's go. On the season, you're 15-20. and 20. I'm 21-14. and 14. I am also amazing. That's um, really good. That's an amazing you. numbers. Thank you, everyone. I'm 15 and 20, and I will beat him in college sports by the end of this year. No, I promise. you will not. I'm Absolutely. really feeling. I haven't it. had a. I haven't had a bad week in quite some time. Do you remember uh, when at the last pod I was I switched from Utah to USC, mm-hmm. and that was huge yep, for me. Of course, TCU. Um, I uh, that's the only one I missed. You miss NC State, who lost outright. TCU, Terrible. TCU did. Did win, but I picked. Yep. I they didn't cover. The spread, rep, yep, it was like a what was it two point game? Ended up. Yeah, the spread was like five and a half or yeah. something weird. Yeah, yeah, it was like four and a half, and they but they did win, so yep. I feel like I give myself a half point. But uh, let's get into no, these hell games. No. All right, top five games. Here we go. This is it. Big ACC matchup. Number fourteen Syracuse at number five Clemson. Clemson is favored by thirteen and a half. This is an eleven a.m. ABC. John, I'm I'm hammering Clemson. If, no, I'm sorry. I'm hammering Syracuse. Same. If this game was at at seven o'clock, yep, I would bet on Clemson. I like. I love this take, John. I I do not. I really believe in the night college football atmosphere. It's called Death Valley. Death Valley is doesn't wake up till about three p.m. Mm-hmm. It's Sleepy Valley. Um, I'm going to take Syracuse. Pl- take the points. This team is undefeated. They're they, you know they may not win, but I do think they show up and Absolutely. they play Clemson tough. I agree. This seems like an insane spread to me. Uh, I love this bet. Um, this is a bet in real, real. I will absolutely. I'm going to tease this to 17 and a half. Might as well just to cover my bases. Yep. But Clemson, I, I just I like Syracuse's run game. I like their defense. Completely let's, agree. Let's I love it. This Next. is good. Good start. All right. Game two. Number 20 Texas at number 11 Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is getting six. It's a lot at of points home because it appears that their QB. Spencer Sanders uh, might be out, but I they haven't they definitely haven't announced it yet. But Vegas knows before anybody else, so I think that's what's happening here. Interesting. 
Okay. Well, the Oklahoma I, State's quarterback. Yeah, I out. really we think really don't like betting on Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm maybe a zero and a hundred betting on the Longhorns. <laughs> I did bet on the money line against Oklahoma. They rewarded me with a forty nine zero victory. Nice. Yep. They just beat Iowa State barely. Um, who hasn't ha- doesn't have a Big Twelve win? Mm-hmm. So Oklahoma State, you're on the road. Are you gonna Are you gonna fold after your TCU loss? That's what I'm thinking. Are you gonna swing at Texas? Um, I hate to do this, but I'm taking Texas. I really don't like to do this on the road. But they uh, they are three wins in a row, Daryl. I'm taking uh, the home dog. I'm taking Oklahoma State. Uh, that game last week was uh, devastating to their to their. Uh, playoff hopes um i think that the kids rally okay i think they rally around their their quarterback's injury and i think that they they pull out a victory and i don't i also don't like betting on texas so betting against them with points yeah yeah. count me in alabama or texas is they had a one point loss to bama three point loss to tech um they're very close to being undefeated but um i hate to bet on them but i just i think Oklahoma state maybe maybe folds it it's possible after that loss yep okay well game three this is uh an incredible matchup, two undefeated teams. Number nine, UCLA. Oh, wait, sorry, Oregon is not. UCLA at number 10, Oregon. Oregon is favored by six. This is the game of the day. Yep, um, it is. I'm going to watch every snap of this game. I'm really excited. Eugene, nothing like Eugene rocking. Um, in the one fall. Of the, it's in a the, beautiful, I mean, it's going to be the jersey. Beautiful fall cool. afternoon. It's UCLA, yep. gold hell. I mean, come on. It's going to look great. And yep. it matters. This game has legitimate playoff implications and major Pac-12 implications. I'm taking UCLA plus six. I think DTR, UCLA's quarterback, is just, he looks like he's on a mission. They're playing better. And they beat Utah, and USC couldn't do that. Oregon, I still have visions of them losing 45 to nothing to Georgia, whatever that I, was. I'll never forget it, but also... Uh, They've just been so hot. I'm going to keep – I'm riding it. I'm taking it. I'm going to Oregon. I don't feel good about it. It's just a lot of points, too. It's a lot of points, but I, the, I, I I'm, we're riding the hot hand. This is it. This, this is, is very interesting to me. So uh, points per game, Oregon 42, UCLA 41.5. Wow. Points allowed, Oregon 28.8. UCLA 22.7. They're very even statistically, but that little ESPN wheel thing, the matchup indicator. Who's all picking Oregon? Oregon is 71.4% likely to win the game based on the ESPN analytics, which well, is just kind of crazy to me. Um, yeah, but if they did spread, it'd be 50 50. You yes. Know? Like that's where you're like, okay. Because that's what the spread does. John, it makes it 50 50. But I still think that it's like, I believe in this UCLA team who has their, ba- their last two times they played football. They the they will be ranked Kelly, teams. Is it a Chip Kelly revenge game? It is a Chip Kelly revenge game. Yeah. How so, do how do we not mention that? Well, hey, we got there. It wasn't ha- it wasn't mentioned right away. But uh, he's going into he's going into Eugene. Yeah, his home. His home. I mean, he won almost he won left them. there. He did leave them. So maybe it's an Oregon revenge game <sighs> to him. What do you? <laughs> I just someone's all, getting their revenge. All my friends are from Philly and they're Eagles fans, and they're just like they're like literally cheering against UCLA. Of they hate Chip Kelly yeah. that much because he he put them in a he tailspin a, for three years, yeah, four years. They weren't it was. feeling it. Doing uh, the Wildcat, it didn't work. Weird, <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Throw the ball. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna bet against them. I'm cheering with your Philly boys uh, and and taking taking Oregon. Interestingly enough, both these teams were off last week. They're both coming out of the bye, and so here we are. Um, I'm taking. I, I think I'm taking UCLA outright. I think they're winning. Ooh, I think they win the game. Okay, I like it. I, I'm money lining UCLA. I here. love this. John. Roll the tape uh, back. I when love it. But I'm wrong. All right, game four, number twenty four, Mississippi State oh. at number six, Alabama. Alabama is favored by twenty one. Goddamn. Points. It doesn't matter what I do. Yep, I, I agree with this. Once I see Alabama, and I see the twenties. I just if I bet on them, they win by a lot. If I don't, yep. they don't. Mm-hmm. I think you and I are all for twenty on uh, betting on Alabama games. I am taking Mississippi State plus twenty one. Um, Alabama secondary. I can't bet on that secondary playing against the the little the literal you know leader in yep. passing yards I'm, in I the love conference. It. Yep, me too, John. I love this. Let's take Mississippi State. Let's bet against Saban again. <sighs> Let's ride Christ. it. Let's ride against Bama. We're do- <laughs> we're doing it. Uh, and it doesn't, you know, and you and I, like, 
what we like to do is we do like to tease up the points to make it a little bit higher. But no matter what we tease in this game. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not winning so, this game. Just so, move yep, along. Yeah, we lost. That's fine. Uh, last is... game, number 17, Johns, Kansas State, whatever the fuck they are, Wildcats, Wildcats. at number 8, TCU, Horn Frogs. This uh, is a Horn Frogs huge. are, are uh, favored by three and a half. This is a huge game for me personally yep. as a Kansas yes, State is. Big 12 winning better for has a you know a mm-hmm. grand on the line here. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm absolutely taking Kansas State plus three and a half, no questions at this time. I night game, you know the, everything I said about the night game, terrified. Night game, this team is rolling. TCU yes, they are. has one of the best offenses in the country, the best coach's name in the country, Sonny Dykes. And Sonny Dykes got the boys cooking, but I'm taking Kansas State plus three and a half. Adrian Martinez is very good. Um, their defense is good. The spread is wacky, and I just think that Kansas State. I'm taking TCU. Is is going to cover three, three and a half. I'm taking lose it. by three. I win. That's sure. right. Sure, sure. And I, hell yeah, why and not? an outright Kansas State win. I cannot wait to come back here next week. And if that happens, the cash out I'm going to get offered from FanDuel be great. is going to be decent. Has to has to be. They will be the only undefeated Big Twelve team. I uh, it has to be got to be decent um okay do you have a i think your upset pick was ucla to win outright unless you have a bigger one that's it okay i mean i i like to let me glance because do, i do, do like glancing. i love do some glancing. an upset sure. do some glance How, how's this one for you iowa ohio state oh god ohio state is minus 29 that is so stupid um no i'm, I'm kidding i won't make, i won't talk about that game on air please don't thank god i can't because that will be what did you say the spread was? 29. Should be higher. Um, I'm hammering Ohio State yes, as I Yes, we'll as both I do. do that. Good. That's awesome. Um, all right. Well, college football, uh, the slate is is very good. A lot of, a lot of fun to be had on Saturday, um, which leads me into a not very fun uh, NFL slate of games. Um, John, I, here, here are the teams that have a bye this week. Shoot me. Bills, Eagles, Vikings. Rams. Ugh. Those are the four teams. Ugh. Three of the four are very good. Uh, and when there's only, what, four good teams in the entire NFL? Ready, so Ready for the primetime games? It's bad. It is it's bad. Saints-Cardinals Thursday, Steelers-Dolphins Sunday night. Ugh. It's pretty gross. Ugh, yeah, that's, 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 that's some rough. So what we call this Sunday, we call this Apple Picking Sunday. <laughs> it's Apple Picking uh, Sunday. Take the girl out. Wh- whereas... Uh, our apple picking, John and I, we're going to Hooters. Yes, which we are. Is, uh, which I think is going to be. We're going to Hooters. That's kind of that's our apple picking. We're going to Hooters to see the lady. Haven't been to uh, Hooters in quite some time, but uh, but very excited to uh, to dabble. We got a patron. So there we go. We're gonna we're gonna do this. All right. So a little recap of the week. So Eagles take down the Cowboys to remain undefeated. Uh, Bills take down chiefs and also ruin every parlay that john and i put together because we bet the over in all of them yep uh so thank you bills but you did cover so thank you uh the jets beat the packers which is uh the end is near in green bay rogers rogers is dying a slow death and i love to see it Uh, they look bad they're just they just don't have anything clicking yet their defense should be better their their receivers are terrible Rodgers isn't being protected. Bad team. Bad bad juju all around there. Just bad energy. Sorry. Sorry, Green Bay. Uh, and then the Vikings, Giants, Bills, all are 5-1, uh, and one, as we all expected, folks. The Minnesota Vikings. And the Jets are 4-2, and two, I think. So yeah. it's like, yeah. what the hell is going on there? What do you think about that? Just uh, there is a – if you look at the standings across the NFL, it is batshit. It's bad shaker. NFC West, they're all three and three, pretty much, other than yeah, one of the teams. But yeah, they're like it's it's uh, that team, that whole division is supposed to be the best, uh, and they all just kind of they all have flaws. The Eagles are running away with the NFC, and I don't think that there's even a real contender to beat them right now. Like there just isn't. The Buccaneers aren't good. Um, the Vikings got their asses kicked to them. Uh, the Cowboys might be the person the contender to them i don't know 
it's, it's yeah, weird. I mean, it's the Vikings are the only the Vikings like are the, record are the, wise, of and course, the, but Giants like, and the Giants are yeah. the only ones with it with the you know obviously it's very record early, wise, but yeah. I mean we say early. I mean six games have been played. I, I mean, we're a third of the way through it here, it's, so. There's some there's there's some really sneaky bets if you want some future bets on like division winners and uh, who you think can make it out of the NFC or or even just bet on teams to make the playoffs. Um, you can get some really good odds out there. You know what's wild? And a lot. The Steelers and Browns are two and four in the AFC North. They're a game out of the division. Are you, because the are Ravens you feeling and, hope again? No, but the, the but the Ravens and the Bengals are three and three. Who would have yeah, thought that? Doesn't make any sense. Um, and the AFC now that the Bills are have beat the Chiefs, they're five and one. The Jets are four and two. You know, obviously that's fraudulent. That's fraud, fraudulent. But, but then the Chiefs and the uh, Chargers are four and two. But the Bills just beat the Chiefs. They have the tiebreaker now. So yep. the AFC the Bills are, AFC bet is. Yeah, I mean, it's because if you're the Bills, you don't want to have to play that AFC Championship game again in Kansas City. Yes, like last year, you like needed it at home. You need to give it in Buffalo. Like that's what you need. Cold. Yeah, that's what they need, and and they'll and I do think that they will. I think they're just going to run. Love that Buffalo is in a dome too. Good for that's just a ta- that's an Absolutely. East Coast that'd be ins- that'd be disgusting if they did that. They were like, nah, dude, we're out here in that'd Buffalo, be, New York. That'd be really stupid. It'd be like if they put a dome on Lambeau. Like you yeah. can't do that. It's got to th- feel. Yeah, it. I want to see the flakes. It- <laughs> I want to see the flakes on uh, in January in the oh. AFC Championship game. That's what I want to see. Football in the snow is literally heaven. Um, I added two teams to our uh, teams that suck list. I added the Cardinals. I don't know why they weren't on there. Yeah, we just forgot. We, they, you know why? Because we forgot. Uh, yep. We forgot again, they existed yep, again. Yep. I hate the Cardinals this year. I thought I did. Ca- I did predict the Cardinals were going to lose, and I thought that this was going to be time for the coach to get fired. Time, but yeah. they play it this Thursday, which uh, that's that's the time to fire your coach. They're bad, man. They don't look. If good. you lose on a Thursday, then you get ten days <laughs> to to get a new coach uh, situated and up to speed. So this is it. Thursday night will be. Uh, I Whatever's mean, fucking face his last name, last game. Cliff. I mean, um, if they lose to the Saints, they will be two and five. Yep, and they are, and they are built to win now. <laughs> and he just got an extension, so uh, I think he's gone. Um, I also added the Jags. Uh, that was a cute story for a little bit. Remember that cute yeah, little story? They yeah, were they were fun. Suck. They suck now. They were fun. They 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 had a little, a little life there. Um, that division is is. Uh, I think the Titans run away with it, even though I don't think the Titans are good either. But that's that's a bad division. Yeah, all of them. But uh, teams that are great. I only added one team. I don't know if you could read that one, John. It's uh, I'm gonna read it for it's the Vikings. Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings are great, folks. They I are mean, five and one. They're five they find and one. ways to win. They are uh, a scrappy squad. Uh, they don't dominate anybody, but god damn it, they win. Yeah, I mean. They got weapons all over. They they're, have no depth anywhere. But if damn you, it! If you look at them, I mean, if you look at their schedule, they're going to rack up some wins. They, they got the next two. They've got the Eagles and the Commanders. So that should be that should be seven and one. It better be. And then that, Wait, didn't you already lose to the Eagles? I mean, uh, the the Cardinals and Commanders. The Cardinals and Commanders. Yep. Yes. And that would lead them then into a seven and one matchup versus the Buffalo Bills. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, folks, you heard it right. Kirk Cousins, baby. And that is the Thursday. Or no, never mind. You're part of me. That's not. No, we yeah. have a we play on Thanksgiving this year against the Patriots, uh, which will be a a fun one. But yeah, they they've got their um they got the NFC North uh looking pretty, and I and I'm shooting I'm shooting for bigger things because I did predict them to go to the NFC Championship game, and uh, I'm sticking with that one. I hope they do, buddy. Thank I hope you. they do. God, you don't believe in it at all, and I, 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 just, I see it in your face. It I, hurts. I think that it's a disgusting thing to see. I, I just, you know, I want, I want it for you. I think that, like, I, I also this. I hate to say this too. I kind of feel like the Eagles are due for a big injury <laughs> by the statistically, <laughs> like just how the yeah, things work out. That, yeah. And I'm not cheering for it, but I do think that something's going to happen to that squad just because they've been pretty healthy and they've uh, been the offensive rolling. side. They've been rolling, and it's like that just never. 
you know, uh, even the, the year they won the Super Bowl, their quarterback got knocked out. So I kind of feel that, I feel like that might help you, but um, it better. Okay, but let's get to the okay picking. week four. Uh, sorry, week four, our last week's picks. You went two and three. I went four and one. Uh, You're on fire. Yeah, that's correct. Twenty and ten on the year, which means that I'm picks. I'm thirteen and two. My last fifteen picks, folks. So you might want to get on board. And I picked the uh, Steelers to beat the Buccaneers. Yes, he did. Uh, so if you guys want to take these picks. Do it if and not, impressively, again, you picked the Giants against the Ravens. That was impressive. Thank and you. They won outright. That's a, that's a good pick. Thank you. Um, um, all right, let's get to some picks, and then we're gonna do in, go into some quick NBA stuff. So, uh, game one. Th- once again, this slate is not good. So these games that we're picking, these are the best of the bunch. So here we go. Falcons at Bengals. Bengals are favored by six. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm taking the Falcons because. Daryl, look what disappeared. Wow. That's well, a pretty big sign. He's got the uh, the red and black. The coasters uh, are coasters, out. We're back and, on the uh, coasters. And that'll do it. That'll that, do it. It's just that simple. It's well, just that simple. Um, well, John, I'm uh, I'm also going to take the Falcons with you. Big spread. Um, Bengals have not put anybody away, and the Falcons have just hung around in every game. They just hang around. Uh, I they're They're fun. Mariota's been playing great, uh, and the Bengals just haven't shown it yet. And until they show it, which might as well just take the six points. Yeah, the Falcons are three and three, and it's yep. like they they beat the Niners by yep. fourteen. Yep. Um, they lost to the Bucks by six, who are a good team on the road. Um, they lost by one point to the Saints, by four to the Rams. So it's like they're yeah they're not they're not they're really scrappy. getting killed. They just they're scrappy. They're good. They can score quickly. Um, it's just my only fear is that this would be the game that the Bengals figure it out because eventually they're gonna. Yeah, and I well, just don't. But you know. I've been betting on that every week and it never happened. So this is I'm flipping. Yep. yep. Okay. Flipping, I like bud. it. You're turning on them. All right. Game two. Giants at Jags. Jags are favored by three. I am fascinated by this game. I'm taking the Giants plus three. Um, I'm not necessarily starting to believe in them, but I just think that. You know they, I think they I think they lose by three in it. This is a push, but I, I'm taking the, <laughs> I'm taking the Giants. Uh, I'm taking the Jags, uh, even though I did add them to my sucks list. I just don't think the Giants are uh, are that good. They do seem statistically due for a loss. Yes, <laughs> it's just one of those things. You look at it and you're like, okay, wait. Whoa, actually. That's a Jags color. I'm, take, go, I'm flipping into the Jags. Really? Yep. Are you just doing that to copy my picks, or just because? No, of the, I mean, look. I mean, come on. The coasters are really. The kind coasters of are real. I mean, this you. is come on. This color coaster is so unique. They this are is kinda, exactly the Jags. Yeah, it is. It's teal. That's a beautiful teal. That's covered my color. What am my I gonna? Eyes, what baby. am I gonna? What am I gonna not use the coasters? They're right. These are beautiful. That's how desperate we're getting for good picks from John over there. I'm the, I'm reading the tea leaves, and the tea leaves are <laughs> coasters. Well, so far the coasters have matched my picks exactly. Yep. Uh, game three. Seahawks at Chargers. Chargers favored by six. I'm a big Seahawks guy. I'm a big Geno Smith guy. I'm taking the Seahawks plus six. So no questions at this time. Uh, I could not agree more. Uh, I'm I'm very anti Chargers right now. Very anti Chargers. They are also a team that just lets teams hang around and hang around and then they lose or uh, they squeak out a win. So six point six points. Hell no. Plus they get no home field advantage whatsoever in L. A. So that Seattle crowd is kind of fired up. I bet they show up, and I bet it feels like a home game in there. So I think uh, Seahawks is a good pick. Here's a super fun thing I just learned on ESPN.com. Please. <laughs> the Seahawks-Chargers game ticks at, the low fi- at SoFi Stadium. Tickets are as low as $26 on Vivid Seats. Of course. Wow. It, I'm sur- I actually think that seems high. That is so cheap. That seems high, honestly, for, for that game. I just figured that – because I do think it's going to be wow. all Seahawks fans. Yeah, they travel. Uh, game four – Browns at Ravens. Ravens favored by six and a half. So this Ravens team, it mm-hmm. doesn't seem like they want to win. <laughs> and what do you think is the next color that just popped up on my? On that is my, that is an orange, which means you're going. Browns. I'm going Browns. Well, I'm betting against you on that one. I'm taking the Ravens. I think the Browns are awful. Um, Ravens, if they have any hope to uh, do anything this season, they got to win that game and they got to win it big. Yeah, so. I'm taking the Browns. I don't trust the Ravens after, after they losing. lost to the Giants, and they just they all, they blow all these leads. Yes, they do. 
I just don't trust them, man. Eventually, I'm just batting on them to figure it out, even though uh, you're 100% in your analysis. And then we're going to maybe the only good game of the day, a yep. Super Bowl rematch from a couple years ago. Chiefs at 49ers. 49ers are getting three. <sighs> John? I'm taking the Chiefs. I'm taking the Chiefs. I just think that mm-hmm. I can't see them losing two games in a row. It really is my is my rationale. Well, I don't think that the 49ers are going to lose two games in a row. So, what do you think about that? Hey, and what do you and what, what the fuck should I do with this? You got a red? Who you can't can't doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm taking the Chiefs. I'm taking 49ers, and I um I I think this will be like a a 17 to 20 game and i don't know which direction so uh we're probably mm. getting a push or i win hmm. what do you think <laughs> you're probably getting a push yeah i would yeah um for fun daryl what do you think is the over under of this game Ooh, it's gonna be low um i'm gonna go with uh 43 and a half 48 and a half what that's high mm-hmm. good then i'm hammering an under bet i think i'm gonna hammer an under bet there um, as well. Also, my um, my upset pick. You ready? Mm-hmm. It's a fun one. You you've been you've been fr- freaking hot with these picks. It's a fun one. Do you guys remember when when we kind of everybody collectively and I think they still collectively think that this team is is really good. Um, I think that the Detroit Lions are going to beat the Dallas Cowboys uh, this upcoming Sunday. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, because I think- uh, Cowboys just had a big letdown game. Uh, Lions are are now again in the absolute cellar of the NFL, um, but they don't want to be. So they're going to come and they're going to play very, 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 very hard. And this just feels like one of those games where the camera is going to pan to Jerry Jones in the box, and he's just going to be so sad and so upset. And uh, I believe Dak is playing this game, and I think it's going to – Everyone's going to freak out because he just lost the lines the game that he came back. Okay, I like that. I think it's, I think it's very solid. You don't believe me? No, it's I fine. do. I think that is very solid. I think you hate it. No, I like it. <laughs> I really do. I swear. I just I'm like, I just feel bad for the Lions. I want them to win. It's like watching a dog. They get always kicked. win a fun game every year. They yeah. always win a couple, and you're like, oh hey, look at them. And then maybe next year they'll be good, and then they just aren't. Yeah, we'll do a quick guess that spread. Uh, before we go on to the NBA for Daryl, this is, uh, I, I think, interesting. Jets at Broncos. Guess the spread. Gross. Jets at Broncos. Jets 4-2. and two. They're 3-0 and oh on the road. I'm guessing. Broncos 2-4. and four. I'm guessing the Jets are favored by one. Denver 2-4, two and four, minus two. <laughs> Figure that out. It shouldn't be. Here's a really fun one. Bucks panthers Bucks coming off the loss three and three. Panthers one and five. Bucks at Panthers. Bucks at Panthers. Again, the Panthers Bucks, are one and five. Bucks by eight and a half. Eleven. Eleven point spread. Double dig. Taking the Panthers. This is both of those the the picks that I just had are correct. <laughs> so just <laughs> do with that information as you will. You do the under in the Chiefs game and you do the you bet on the Panthers. And now we move on. Yep. Hey, opening night, NBA, baby. It is the opening night of the NBA season. Snuck up on us. It is October 18th. It really did. At time of filming this. And there is no clear NBA favorite as Warriors, Celtics, and Clippers. They're the betting favorites for the NBA title. Did you not say the Bucks? I did well that's I'm just reading what the internet has said. John. The don't Golden State dumb. Warriors, Boston Celtics, and Clippers are e- are either favorites or co-favorites across the betting market with odds of plus 600, which is the longest record for any odds of any opening night favorite. Wow. Additionally, the Nets, Bucks, and Sixers have consensus odds of 10 or 1 or shorter. So it is a very open very field. open field. Um we should just remind everybody. So I'm a I'm a diehard Milwaukee Bucks fan, and I'm and, a diehard Sixers fan. I'm, I'm a poor bastard. And uh, and the Bucks play the Sixers on Thursday, which is very exciting. Is it in Philly? It is. I was gonna say if it wasn't, we'd probably go. That's correct. I would have. <laughs> we already would have been planning to yes, go to that. That's game. right. We that's go to a lot exact, of Bucks. We exactly go to a lot right. of Bucks games. I yeah. I don't have any hatred for the Bucks. I think if you, any fan of basketball 
enjoys watching the Bucks play. Yeah. I have no hatred for them except when they play the Sixers. I, I want you guys to win every game. I don't hate the Sixers. Sixers. I hate James Harden. Now. Correct. Which so is fair. I, it's very easy for me to, to cheer against that, that squad. We start. It's very hard not for me to bet on, as we talked about this earlier, I want to bet on the Celtics' money line so bad as we open the season. But so stupid. I Stop think that this. I'm just going to bet on Joel to have 30-plus. Sure, I think absolutely. Double, I love that. Double back-to-back MVP snubs. I think he's going to come out this year. I think he's going to average 33 a game. He is my he is my pick. He's my MVP. MVP pick. He is my MVP pick. I think that... Because they have something to prove. And so the Celtics, you know, they everyone loves Celtics. They just, you know, their coach is the whole... I don't even want to get into it. I don't want to waste my breath on that. But... Um, the, yeah, that the fact that the Celtics are still the favorite to win the NBA title right now is so stupid that's to me. How, that's how good they are. I saw a great... Uh, not that good. A if, great if Chris tweet. Middleton does not get hurt last year, they they beat the Celtics yeah. and they go to the finals and they win it. I I'm uh I will say the uh, but it's like the Warriors like the Warriors are the Warriors. It's I, I'm they're I'm very pick, good. I'm but picking I'm picking them to win. But they don't. I'm, I'm not. Oh, I I'm mean, not. no one wants that. But I'm picking them. I think this is we're in the middle of, a, of like a Bulls ish dynasty and it's, everyone's oh yeah, absolutely looking around like who's gonna the the Warriors yeah they're very good they're yeah. very good and their coach is amazing they're phenomenal I'm picking the Warriors to win it all um, and I'm picking the Bucks to win the East thank you and you're gonna lose to the Warriors and it's gonna be tough for you they have no one to defend Giannis but I appreciate that pick I appreciate that no one, one has so anyone much. to defend Giannis but um I want uh here's something that you should uh, you should touch on. John, I how do you feel it. about? I love touching how, stuff. <laughs> why don't you touch this? Why don't you touch? Uh, what do you? What's your opinion on uh, Ben Simmons on the Brooklyn Nets? John, In the words just, uh, of my close personal friend Ronald Metellus, he ruined my twenties. <laughs> and the words of Ronald Metellus, he ruined my twenties. Um, I, I think I, there is a bet that you should be making. Well, you should be betting the under and Brooklyn. If so you, you can just cheer against them so hard, I'm going to bet the under for his points, whatever they are. Every single that. game. I love that, John. Every game. Yes, I love this. That's... I root against that man with with a passion. <laughs> I know somebody who hooked up with him. They said he had a weird penis. Um, Explain weird. She just said it was. She guys, it was weird. It was shaped weird. Good. She said it, was shaped, she said it like she, a Z. She said it was shaped like a triangle. Ew. <laughs> That's know. weird. Probably weird penis. That's why I can't shoot. I say it every day. <laughs> Every day? Every day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Every day. <laughs> weird penis Ben Simmons. All right. Um, okay, I I think um, I think the Sixers are going to be very good this year. I think uh, they're going to be the number one seed in the East. Wow. I think that they're going to roll because they care. Even, even Harden, I think, cares. And I think they're going to rack up a bunch of re- regular season wins. And I think they're going to get that one seed. Uh, the Bucks are going to struggle out of the gate. Uh, Middleton is still hurt. Uh, and he's still hurt. Yeah, so he'll be out for the first like month or so. Um, but they'll they'll figure it out. But it, it won't be right away. I think they're going to start off slow and then get hot when it's when it's time. And uh, yeah, I think Sixers number one seed. I don't think they're going to go to the finals, but yeah, I, I think that that's what's going to happen. They're going to roll. I'll tell you what I I lo- I do think that the Bucks are also going to start slow. Um, the Eastern Conference odds, Daryl. Please, interesting. This they're, is obviously they're, they're you know, weird. There's, they're they're up there. You know, there's there's different ones. I know this is a weird one. I but agree. I'm in VegasInsiders.com right now. Bucks plus three twenty five. Celtics plus three thirty three. Nets plus three fifty. Sixers plus six fifty. So a major drop off with those three. But then the Hammer Sixers. It. I feel like the val- the value it. better. Hammer Absolutely. the Sixers. Um. I might do it just to bet, just so I, I can share with you. I mean, that's just fun. Because I'm a good friend. I really want to bet on win totals. Um, yeah. There's some fun ones out there. The weirdest one, I, I think like the Clippers, is that's like the biggest unknown. Um, yep. Because uh, Paul George and the Claw will play together for the first time in fucking forever. I don't, they've been on, they've been on a team together for almost four years. Whoa. Which is doesn't even make sense. This will be their fourth season, Kawhi and Paul George. Okay. That's insane. Yeah. So, like, and nobody even knows. They're at 52 and a half over under wins. Um, you, almost, you can't ever go too high because they're not going to play a full season the, together. But you could – they're probably good, like, NBA finals odds. I'm going to give you some teams, uh, NBA win totals, you say over under. Okay. 
We're starting with your Milwaukee Bucks, 52 and a half over under. Over. Sixers, 50 and a half. Over. Slam that. Yes. Now we're going to go down to the bottom for some fun. Orlando Magic, 26 and a half. Over. Over. Absolutely over. Mm-hmm. Miami Heat, 48 and Under. <laughs> under 48 and a half for yes. the Heat. under. They lost P.J. Tucker to my boys. They suck. And here's a fun one. Golden State Warriors, 51 and a half. It's... I think they win 52 games. That's exactly what they... Over. They're going to win 52. I like that, too. I think they're they're going to be very good. And they're deep. As sh- they're so deep. They're yep, just so I'm, deep. I'm in. Yep, I like that. Bulls, 41 and a half. And don't they smell like they're going to go 42 and 42? Or 42 and... They are not. Whatever it is. They are not going to... I mean, honestly, you should do the over, because I think they had 46 or 47 last year, and that was with so many people hurt in a new system. Rockets twenty three and a half oh, under God. awful under they're gonna win twenty. The uh, the team I love the most I love the Cavs. The Cavs are gonna be very good this year, very good. Yeah, everyone kind of has been they're like, they're, uh, they're a trendy sleeper and, pick. Um, and I th- and I and I'm betting hard against Brooklyn. Yeah, absolutely. So that's kind of like my give me your final four in the NBA. What's what's gonna be the conference matchups again? Bucks Sixers. Bucks Sixers. Bucks win. Bad for our friendship. That would be a tough week for me. We've been wanting this for years. We've been now. wanting it for years, but you know, one of our team gets. Well, there's a one. Of, I think that you're you. I mean, I'll never forgive you for that year, uh, <laughs> John. All your team had to do was not give up a last second three pointer to Kawhi, and you would have been playing us. And uh, what'd you do? You give up the most devastating three pointer. I bought ever tickets seen. to the the game one Bucks Eastern Conference, and Finals. then Kawhi came into Milwaukee and beat the shit out of the Bucks. And so I watched it. Happen. It was your fault. That is my fault. So punishment fits the crime. Um, my Western Conference picks, I think it's going to be a rematch of last year. Phoenix Warriors. And yeah, we haven't really mentioned the Suns at all. Nobody does because they're Small their whole market. and their whole team is like bad. Remember they lost by like fifty in that playoff elimination game last oh, year? Yeah. Like the worst loss ever and everyone no one believes in Chris Paul. That was weird. I would bet on their under I mean, like whatever the over under for wins is, because they're not going to play Chris. Fifty two and a half. So I, I just, I think that they're still good. They're just like the people aren't talking about them anymore. So I think it's going to be Warriors, Bucks. Okay. You and I both have the same finals. Yeah, I think Except Warriors. I'm going Bucks. Yeah, Warriors, Bucks. I say Warriors. You say Bucks. Um, who's your surprise team? You know, Cavs. somebody weird. Okay, Cavs. I love the Cavs. They're I'm very the- good. I'm going to say this team. I'm not going to say is going to do anything. I do. I mentioned earlier. I like. The, I like the Magic. They have the number. They got you know a good couple of draft classes in a row. I think the Magic are going to win more games than people think. I'm not. You know, they're not going to you know make yeah. a run. Yeah, but I don't getting, think. I don't think they're going to go. They're not sniffing the playoffs. They're, but the, I. Do, but I do think they're going to be annoying as fuck to play. I agree. They won't ever stop, and I hate that. Um, the fun teams. So the Grizzlies are going to be really fun. Oh, I've the, John Morant. The T Wolves so are going to be very fun again, and then uh, the Pelicans. Uh, that will be the sneaky team that if the Pelicans can get um, our boy healthy and play, I know he's going to be playing from the get go. I can't even think of his name. Um, I can't. What the fuck is his name? Big boy from Duke. Apollo. Nope. Big boy. Wait, where do you go? Say Zion. Again? Zion, of yes. course. I was, I'm, I'm still in the Magic. I was literally in the Magic Pelicans, roster when you yep. said that. Yep. But yeah, Zion, it's like, can Could they get step. him going? You playing music on ESPN again? Yeah, you are. I'm on ESPN.com. God I'm, damn it. I have a problem. Well, John, um, other than that, though, uh, anything else in the NBA that you're excited about? Because I'm, I'm pumped for the season. It's just good to have... Uh, games on every single night again i'm so excited i we're also just real quick we're entering this really beautiful thing Mm -hmm. where it's october 18th nba just started football is heating up Mm -hmm. nhl just started which is fun playoff baseball baseball, baseball, and then the world cup is going to enter the chat a couple weeks into november this next month of sports will probably be the best in our adult lives yep because of the special circumstances with the world cup um Remember the Masters was at this time, was last year? Yeah, because of really, COVID. Because of COVID, but it's like things are things are kind of a fall Masters Augusta. Do that again, <laughs> and then really spice up. This is what is it? What does he say? This is the Masters on this, CBS. Jim Nance, and this is the Masters. He's on CBS. That guy's my my idol. 
Yeah, Jim Nance rules. But right. what am I looking forward to the NBA? Um, I think just watching Ja Morant play the game of basketball. As a I Sixers fan, watching the development of Tyrese Maxey. Very good. If he makes, like, let's say, a, a, a leap in some area of his game mm-hmm. that's substantial, we are going to be very good. Because that, I that think kid so too. is a good player. I think your player. team is very good. Whew, and, we, oh, and I cannot wait to watch this game in four hours. All right, buddy. Three and a half. Well, welcome to the NBA season. Uh, an amazing Saturday slate. Sunday slate is terrible, but we'll we'll see you guys at Hooters. We'll see you at um, Hooters on Sunday for those games. For the vibes. And, uh, other than that, John, I love you, pal. I love you, Daryl. Have 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 a great uh, spooky Halloween weekend, everybody, and uh, we'll touch touch base next week. I'm gonna go get a sandwich. Good. Love you. Bye. Love you guys. When you pawn your wedding ring and your head is up your ass.